This channel needs something new, something fresh, something to bring Minecraft back into the limelight. That's where the theme comes in. I'm a hobbit, but I haven't had my adventure. This series will help me do just that. I used MCA to place a copy of Mount Doom a hundred thousand blocks away from where we are in Hobbiton. I must take my ring the distance to destroy it in the fiery inferno, even though I'm dressed as Bilbo? This series will be like no other, except maybe a, a simple walk into Mordor and Farlands or Bust, except I'll actually reach my goal. This is the 100,000 block journey. Now let's go. Hey, what is up guys? Trex here, and welcome back to another episode of the 100,000 block journey. We are back in the 100,000 block journey world, as usual. And this episode isn't actually being recorded on the day that it goes up like I normally record episodes. This is be instead being recorded a day in advance because I'm recording a whole bunch of these episodes um, all at once so that when I'm gone for the next two weeks, you guys will have the uh, the Trex Plays episodes and Terraria episodes and uh, 100,000 Block Journey episodes that you need. And I uh, just finished recording a Trex Plays of Magicka, so look forward to that. That is coming out next Saturday. I believe. Um, so yeah, next Saturday is Trex Plays Magicka. C confirmed. Uh, confirmed Trex Plays Magicka 2K15. Woohoo! Um, so that's coming out. Just got done the rec recording that. I'm going to record, I think, five episodes of this, maybe? Um, but I think they're only going to be one day a piece, maybe two days a piece. Um, de definitely, I don't, I don't know how long they're going to be, but, um, yeah, this is day 30 and that means that we get to press F3 at the end of today and um, the estimated distance covered should be 60,000 although we will see how far we are at the end of the day um, so but my estimate is 62,000 because we got a day ahead of schedule some time ago and I don't remember when but um, also you have to you guys have to remember that we do have that Y, or that Z distance that has been altering throughout this series that we need to compensate for in our travels, and we'll need to do that at the end as well um, when we finally reach the 100,000 mark on X. We'll need to also move around to get to the proper Y, because, <coughs> excuse me, Mount Doom is around the coordinates x my x 100,000 y minus 5 something like that so we need to hit up that and that so yeah we're gonna have to adjust for the z I, I was saying y I meant z we're going to have to adjust for that eventually but yeah so I think we're just going to record I don't, I don't know how long I'm going to record for but I'm going to try and get through a whole bunch of it so that when I'm gone, there will be episodes of plenty, and um, there will be progress, and so that the series d doesn't have to keep going on and on and on. Um, so yeah, let's get to some questions. Unfortunately, there were no questions from the audience on that vi on that video on the last episode, you know, that was Block Journey, where I asked people for questions. So instead, I'm not bad at you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's just a bit blocky, blocked. So instead, I'm going to be using this random question generator, which is a conversation starter thing that I found on Google. Um, and the first question that it asked me was, what is your favorite meal of the day? All right. Hmm. Well, we have three meals of the day, unless you're a hobbit. We have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or you have breakfast, second breakfast, 11 Z's, tea, brunch, Dinner, supper, or lunch, supper, dinner, midnight snack, uh, 11 Z's, version 2.0, judgment day, and dinner, or something like that. But yeah, out of the three meals, I'd say, I'd say I like breakfast the best, because breakfast, um, it's a great way to start your day. Like, you wake up, you're tired, why not shove some food in your mouth? Because, mm, food is good. But then lunch, it's just kind of like, especially at school, you just kind of have the same thing. Or you have a rotation of the same thing because it's a school lunch. 
and yeah unless you're rich you're going to be eating hot pockets and microwave burritos um, mostly or buying school lunches but yeah so and then dinner dinners I think I think I like dinner because it has more food that's socially acceptable to eat at that time like you can eat all sorts of pastas and stuff but then breakfast just has it's so rewarding to wake up and do that and eat. I probably sound like a stoner right now. It's just so rewarding to wake up and eat and, like, have pancakes. Because pancakes and waffles are delicious. And bacon and eggs. Mm. Yeah, I like breakfast the best. Next question. What is your preferred method of contacting someone? Uh, email, phone, text... Um, it depends. If I want to talk to somebody, I prefer to do it face-to-face, -face, but if I just want to send them a quick message, um, I'd text them, and if I need to send them something important, like a document, I'd email, but I prefer face-to-face -face if I'm just going to be casually talking to somebody. Uh, let's see the next question. Would you rather have to sit all day or stand? Ooh! Ooh! I could do... Would you press the button questions for the next episode? Anyways, would you rather sit all day or stand all day? I would rather sit all day. Um, it's not as healthy as standing all day, but it's also not as exhausting, because standing can get exhausting after a little while. Um, I think we're going to have to abandon our horse. Because I don't see any signs of... Oh, gosh. Goodbye, horsey. I don't see any signs of that getting any lighter. Oh, we should have grabbed some wood. Yeah, so, um, horsey, you sit tight. I'm gonna go grab a tree real quick. But yeah, I'd rather sit all day. Actually, we'll bring a horse with us. Um, horse, come along. Yeah, I'd rather sit all day. Let's see, next question. What is your favorite drink? Uh, I don't know. What do I like to drink? I could say water, because you kind of have to drink that, but then again, it's not like... If I was fully refreshed and I could choose from a variety of drinks, I'd probably choose, like, root beer, because root beer is really tasty. I really like root beer. Um, my favorite sodas are root beer and strawberry Fanta and orange Fanta, and maybe Sprite or Dr. Pepper. Um, but root beer is definitely a favorite, especially A&W. That's just great. But yeah, um. Root beer. That's my favorite drink. Let's see, another question. If you were stuck on a desert island, what would you have with you? Well, I bring my favorite book. Probably that being, that being The Hobbit. I would bring a. Thinking of snarky answer, thinking of snarky answer. Probably bring a cell phone with a data plan, and so that I could like contact people and also watch YouTube and stuff, and also a I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, The Hobbit cell phone with data plan. Um, actually, just a collection of. I just bring my bookshelf because there's some books that I haven't read on that that I need to read. Um, I'm trying to read. Quick, grab this stuff. Okay. Bye, horsey. You've served us well. Thank you for your service. Uh, see you on the flip side, on the dark side of the moon. Don't be comfortably numb. Us and them, yada, yada, yada. Where did my boat even go, horse? Oh, boy. Where did it go? So, yeah. Bookshelf with my books on it. Cell phone with data plan. Baby cheating. And probably some food. Or, um, some matches. Actually, a lighter. Oh, there's the other boat. Okay, well. But yeah. Anyways, um, next question. What is your favorite dessert? Ooh, kinky. Um, ice, cre ice cream, definitely. Uh, probably either half-baked from Ben & Jerry's, it's delicious, or... Dutch chocolate from Bluebell. Sadly, there is no Bluebell at the moment because of Lystragonians or whatever that thing is called. Stomach virus. Um, yeah, so either half baked or half baked Ben Jerry's. 
or Dutch chocolate bluebell. Anyways, next question. What things are you passionate about? I just love squirrels. I mean, the way you can crush their tiny skulls between your fingers, the way you can rip their tail and separate their body limb from limb. Mm. I don't know. What am I passionate about? Reading. Reading is a big one. Um, I don't know about athletics. Like, I play sports. I wouldn't say I'm passionate about them. Uh, games. Actually, just computer things in general. It's like games and programming and stuff. Reading. Probably movies I'm passionate about. Yeah. Next question. What is one weird thing about you? Hmm. That is a pre-reflection. That's not a weird thing about me. It's just a pre-reflection. Um, I think I'll just sail through the night on this episode. And then we'll end it. What am I... What? What? Oh! We have to press F3. So let's just do that right here. Let's see where we are. I'll get to what uh, what's weird about me later. Let's press F3 and let's see where we are. Okay, we are at approximately 64,000 X and 65 or 6,500 Y. We need to head this way a bit more so that we can get our Y down. And we'll continue sailing into the night to continue getting our X up. But we are well on our way. So, let's continue sailing. We know where we are. Once we get to around 90,000 or so, we're going to just press F3 whenever we feel like it. That way we can be on track with our Y. So anyways, what is weird about me? Hmm. I th just thought of something, but I can't remember what it was. Hey, we found land. Let's, uh, let's actually camp real quick. Yeah, let's go camping. Oh, gosh. Hello, boat. Come back. Oh! Oh, gosh, there's Enderman and... S hey, the spider's eyes are reflecting. That's cool. Uh, yeah, we'll just get to what I'm weird about later. And in, in the next episode or something. Because I'm probably going to end it off here. Because we are 64,000 blocks in out of our 100,000 block journey. That means we have 36,000 blocks left to cover. And that gives me an estimate of 18 more days. So yeah. I hope I did the math right on that one. We are two days ahead of schedule currently. Um, so that's good. That's always good. So yeah. We're going to end off the episode here. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you all next time. And as soon as we settle down for the night, I will say goodbye. We'll just use sand as our natural doorway. So anyways, guys, um, let's put down a workbench and stuff. Yep. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time, and goodbye.